Vice President Kamala Harris minced no words about a foundational truth of the United States after a moving tour of Cape Coast Castle, which for many enslaved Africans was their last view of home before they were shipped across the Atlantic in chains in the bottom of overcrowded ships. The descendants of the people who walked through that door were strong people, proud people, people of deep faith, people who loved their families, their traditions, their culture, and carried that innate being with them through all of these periods, went on to fight for civil rights, fight for justice in the United States of America and around the world. And all of us, regardless of your background, have benefited from their struggle and their fight for freedom and for justice. Harris is on her first vice presidential tour of the continent, which takes her to Ghana, Tanzania, and Zambia. Speaking to 8,000 young people in Ghana's capital, Accra, she outlined what she sees as the continent's hopeful future. Together, we can unleash growth and opportunity that far exceeds what either the public or private sector can achieve on its own. And the United States is committed to build these types of partnerships to increase digital inclusion on the continent. And finally, to create inclusive economic growth and to advance innovation, we must continue to support and invest in good governance and democracy. Ghana's president said her visit has made a difference. I'm happy to state that this afternoon's meeting has further boosted the steadfast cooperation between us. And Ghana will continue to collaborate with the United States of America at all levels. Harris now continues to Tanzania and then to Zambia. Anita Powell, VOA News, Cape Coast, Ghana.